Tesla full self-driving technology has come a long way, but it still stumbles with navigation at times. Today, we are pushing it to its limit on challenging roads and unprotected left turns. Make sure you stick around, we have got something exciting lined up, and I will need your thoughts at the end. Let's dive in. Hey everyone, we are back with another full self-driving video. My name is Anato Mohamed, and this video, we are gonna test some unprotected left turn where the car makes mistake. Also in this video, we are gonna route us through a road where the car failed to navigate and follow the GPS. Also in this video, we're gonna do some narrow road testing where FSD gets confused and cannot calculate the space between left and right so let's do it guys so as you guys can see there is a stop sign in front of us and we are gonna make a right turn here but we definitely need to stop and look on our left side if there is no other traffic we can proceed very good right guys so after this truck pass by we can definitely make this right turn though there are a few other vehicle on our left side those are a little far but i would definitely say fsd took his time when that truck was on our left side we definitely have a small gap and if fsd just do a little hurry or press that acceleration a little hard we can definitely make that right turn but definitely fsd took his time and being cautious very good and now you saw that that fsd changed the lane and move to the left side because and this upcoming stop sign we are gonna merge into a lane where the car fails and there are construction going on and you will see fsd is not slowing down this is what i don't like when there is construction you need to slow down and you will also see few humans are walking on the right side so the car didn't slow down at all so now the stop sign will appear and our car will move a little left to give a space but very good there now we need to change the lane and move to the left side but you will see fsd just completely ignores this navigation and failed it and just rerouting us through a different road which i really don't understand why it's a very simple task you just change the lane turn on your indicator move to the left lane stopped behind that stop sign and when it's safe just to go forward but for some reason fsd cannot handle it in version 12.3.6 it can do it in this exact road but in this version 12.5.4.2 hardware 3 vehicle the car cannot do it i really don't know what what is happening with fsd guys please leave a comment below that what you think about this kind of mistake the fsd is doing so i'm just gonna do that narrow road testing where the car gets stuck right now and after that narrow road test we are gonna also try that road one more time just want to see if the car can handle it so let's do it guys are you a Tesla FSD beta tester? Stop scrolling. The FSD beta bumper magnet is a must have. This sleek durable magnet clearly signals that your Tesla is in self-driving mode. It's easy to apply, easy to remove, and the perfect accessories for embracing the future of autonomous driving. Don't miss out. Grab yours on Amazon today. So we are gonna make this narrow road test right now. Narrow road test number one. We're gonna make a left turn. There are leaves on the road, so the car will get probably, yeah, yeah, so much hesitation. And now it's gonna get a stock, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it did. It did. It is trying to read out us, probably. It is rotating the steering wheel all the way right side. So I'm just going to take over because I know we can do it, but the car cannot calculate the space in front of us because we don't have any bumper camera. I think for this kind of situation, if we have a bumper camera, the car will have better chance to make this kind of left turn where it can see clearly what is in front of us. So I'm going to do it one more time. So let's do it, guys. Also, guys, if you guys are new in this channel and you want to support me as a content creator, please hit that subscribe button because that will be really helpful for me because I really want to get 10,000 subscribers. And if you subscribe to this channel, I will be, you know, very close to my destination. Right, guys? So we are going to do that narrow road testing for the second time. I just engage FSD one more time. Our car is proceeding, as you can see that. 
and now we are going and there are so much leaves today on the road so yeah the car is hesitating and it is thinking of not going over the leaves so now this time it will probably reroute us through a different road so as you can see that the car is hesitating okay so i'm just gonna press that acceleration there is another car so i had to give that car a space so i just pressed that acceleration because the car was hesitating it was not taking that different route it had a space so i had to press that acceleration and it just went through so it's gonna just reroute us from a different road is better to reroute than getting a stock behind the road right and blocking the whole road so this left turn was slow and we are moving forward as you can see that and we're gonna make a left turn here um but we definitely have to look on our right side if there is no other vehicle coming so we can make this uh left turn very good okay um yeah definitely have hesitation here definitely you can see the steering wheel nags and the steering wheel is doing left and right uh but it is what it is guys right so we are gonna make a right turn here on this narrow road too and i'm gonna see how the car handles okay very good yeah very good very good yeah it make that right turn very nicely um whenever my previous video was uh that video in this exact road the car hesitate to make this right turn too because of that narrow road condition the car always have some hard time you know calculating the space so we are gonna test uh, that uh, construction zone one more time so let's do it guys so construction area test number two so we are gonna find out last time the car failed to navigate us so let's see if the car can navigate us right now so as you can see there is a stop sign approaching in front of us to navigate through this road we need to change the lane and move to the left side a little bit like that car in front of us and uh, then we can merge so as you can see the car is not changing the lane till now and it's just missed that turn one more time interesting guys i don't like why the car is just hesitating like what is so hard about it you just change the lane and navigate us through that road you can just follow that uh, left car like the car in front of us and you just make that left turn right but for some reason you're just hesitating like really don't know why please let me know in the comment what you think about this kind of mistake why the car is making this kind of mistake and what is happening with the car so let's do that unprotected left turn guys unprotected left number one in new york hardware three vehicle this is a tricky unprotected left where we need to go straight and then make a right turn and immediately make a u-turn so let's see how the car handles this unprotected left turn so as you can see there is a stop sign we definitely need to stop and then we have to creep to look on our left side if there is no other traffic we can proceed straight but we have to go straight not make a right turn so let's see there is few traffics on our left side so the car shouldn't move and uh, yeah there are another car just now and after this car we can just go straight yep it is going it is going very good and you stay there and if there is no other car from the opposite side you just make a u-turn very good and perfect i'm so glad the fsd could handle this unprotected left turn because this is definitely a tricky unprotected left where the car makes mistakes so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna try one more time so let's do it guys unprotected left number two in new york hardware 3 vehicle version 12.5.4.2 and we are proceeding this is a tricky unprotected left where you need to go straight make a right and make a u-turn so let's find out how the car handles this unprotected left turn while we stop for this stop sign then we need to creep a little bit to look on our left side so the car is not creeping now it is creeping and then after this car we can proceed very good you should okay there is another vehicle right now so there is another one okay yeah it, it just you know like okay good good job yeah it immediately goes straight 
and then comes to this lane and now we're gonna make a u-turn very good and very fast very confident very nice job tesla ai team i really love it i really 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 love it so i'm just gonna do it one more time let's do it guys unprotected left number three in new york hardware three vehicle as you guys can see the car is proceeding and there is a human so the car is going slow very good very very good so we have a stop sign this is a tricky unprotected left turn because we need to go straight and then we need to make a right turn and immediately make a u-turn so let's see how the car handles so we are gonna stop on this stop sign and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna creep to look on our left side very simple right guys and if there is no other car there is red light so we can proceed very good job there and the car proceed perfectly now you need to stay here yes very good task because there are our traffic this time on the opposite side so we need to stop here we wait for those opposite side traffic and after there is no other car the car proceed and make this u-turn this time the u-turn seems a little slow but the car did it perfectly so no complaint at all guys very amazing job very very good i'm so so happy with this performance but uh, for the beginning part the car makes mistake by not you know navigating us through the gps it's just rerouting us through a different road so uh, these are the things we need to, you know, like handle and the FSD will keep doing this kind of uh, thing. So uh, please make sure you hit that subscribe button because I really need your help. I need to hit the goal of 10,000 subscribers. So please hit that subscribe button and like this video because the algorithm really helps when you hit that like button. And thank you for watching, guys. I love you so much and have a wonderful, wonderful day.